Hey everybody, it's Dr. Rick Wallace wrapping in on you. Uh, this won't be long, uh, but it's definitely something that needs to be said. <clears throat> uh, for all of you, you know the routine. If you believe in the work we're doing at the Odyssey Project, Black Men Lead, Rite of Passage Initiative, uh, programs for domestic violence, intimate partner violence, programs for mental health, mental illness, research uh, department, and think tank. Hey, we've been doing this for years. You know, I didn't just pop up. I've been around for some time. Uh, but we need your support. So, uh, we still buzzing about the Astros. That's literally a guy with an Astro sign. Uh, and telling people to honk and people still buzzing and, and having fun. So that's what that is. It's not road rage. Uh, but anyway, if you believe in what we're doing, show some love. Go into the description box, click the link and give. And if you prefer giving by cash app, <laughs> if you prefer giving by cash app, do that as well. Hopefully I'm going to get through this light in a minute. Uh, but uh, that's what's going on right now But anyway uh, Do that Now let's talk uh, I can name a bunch But I'm just going to I'm, I'm going to name a few right now And then some others may come up in my head As I'm talking that uh, But these three stand out to me For a couple of reasons and I'm still talking about this Kyrie thing and I'm going to tell you why it's important to me and why it should be important to all of us okay Shaquille O'Neal Jalen Rose and Stephen A. Smith have gone in we can add Shannon Sharp to that as well have gone in on Kyrie he's been called an idiot he's been called stupid uh, all the while nobody's addressing the fact that he never endorsed the book or the movie. He simply shared it. Uh, he has consistently said that there are things in there that he agrees with and things that he doesn't. That's not the point for me. I believe everybody has a right to feel and believe what they want to believe. I, I'd rather know what a person believes than to sit up and have them pretending that there's something that they're not in order to make me comfortable. Uh, that person there is dangerous. I'd rather have a person I know where they stand. I know whether I can be in their spaces at all. And then I know whether I need to watch myself while I'm in their spaces. So I prefer everybody, regardless of race, creed, religion, whatever, to speak their truths. And it just tells me where you are and how I deal with you and how I move. I'm, I want to be able to speak my truth. Here's the thing. When you got cats like that that come out, and this came directly out of Jalen Rose's mouth. Basically, when you are in a situation where you work for someone and you have a boss, you've got to abide by the rules. You've got to pay by the rules. Um, and I agree with the sentiment of there are rules, regulations, and policies with any work environment for the sake of keeping structure, keeping organization, and ensuring quality of product, service, and work environment. I get that. But I'm very, very leery of any work environment, not just the NBA, the NFL, and any other any other work environment that creates celebrities and gives them a platform. Any work environment where you are being censored for your beliefs is a place that's basically saying, if you wanna work for me, you conform to my beliefs. You hold the same values I hold. And even if you don't hold them, you will pretend like you do, and you will walk like you do, you will speak like you do, and ultimately, I own you. Now, what isn't easily observed or readily admitted in this is everybody up there, despite being millionaires, are afraid to lose something. And everybody's saying, well, Shaq's got major loot because he's got all this. And yeah, but what Shaq understands is all of his businesses depend upon patronism. All of his businesses can be boycotted, can be labeled as a certain type of business that can inhibit profit. So he's still under that same umbrella that if you don't want... 
uh, Kanye, what they prove with Kanye is you can be billionaire status and we can get you. Okay, so my point is Jalen goes through this whole diatribe and I put this on a post that Tony Lindsay, filmmaker Tony Lindsay, who happens to be a friend, he, uh, I put this on there, he goes through this di diatribe about all these different things and at the end of the day, he should have just said, Kyrie should have been scared like me. Kyrie should have been afraid like me. It could have been summed up in one sense, I'm afraid to lose what I have. Now look, depending on where you at and how you see yourself and how you plan on moving, that may be you. You may sit up and say, shit, I'm not risking my paper for none of this shit. I'm going to eat. You could be a Steve Harvey. That integrity doesn't matter to you. Truth doesn't matter to you. Speaking up for those who don't have a voice is not your thing. Your thing is I'm going to eat. And whatever feeds me the best is what I'm gonna be loyal to. And that's you. That's your choice. It tells me again how I deal with you. I don't fuck with you, period. Y'all gonna have to excuse me on that one. When you tell me that your pockets are more important than me, that tells me for the right amount, you'll cut my throat. So no, I can't deal with you. I can't be around you. I don't trust you. There's got to be some things that character outweighs. There's got to be some things, your beliefs and your standards. Dr. King said, a man that does not have something for which he is willing to die is not fit to live. I agree with that. Well, if that's something that I'm literally willing to die for, then that means I'm also willing to sacrifice some comfort for. And, 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 and no, I don't want to be a person struggling. No, I don't want to be that person that's struggling, but what, and, and I don't believe I have to be. I believe that there's enough ways to be creative and move and operate, but obviously it's going to have to come out of that idea that everything has to come through some particular group or some particular traditional uh, channel of building my wealth because then I'm going to be heavily dependent upon it. I'm going to be heavily law to it because money is important to me. Yes, money is important because it means that I can pass power on to the next generation. It means that I can operate and move in ways that I cannot without it. But what I have to understand is there are certain ways I can't get it and still speak my mind. There are certain ways I can't get it and still hold true. There are certain things that I have to understand that if I'm going to move in certain ways, I have to be careful. Now, I'm not sitting up saying be reckless, but I'm sitting up saying don't let your truth be transformed into some spin of falsehood presented as truth in order to hold your place. Sometimes when you know you don't have a win, shut the fuck up. You don't have to speak on everything because you can't win every battle in this situation. You got to pick and choose. You got to know when to move. You got to know strategically when to shut the fuck up. We, 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 we either all in stupid or scared. And then there are a few in between that say, man, I'm going to figure this thing out. I'm going to make something happen. I'm going to do what I have to do. And the problem is a lot of times... Uh, you do what Kanye, I mean, uh, what Kyrie is doing is you get to a point of awareness and a bunch of things you always thought was true, you're finding out is not true. And that's a switch that goes off. And the rage inside of you, the hostility and animosity inside of you says, I'm going out swinging and you're not prepared yet. You don't know how to move. You don't understand how things work. So you go out and you kick the lion. And then you lose a hand or arm or a leg. You learn a lesson. You grow and say, okay, I've had that fight. I went out there and got my butt busted. I realized you can't say what you want to say on something you don't own and control. You can't say what you want to say if you're dependent on somebody to pay you that doesn't agree with you. That's the way the game is played. People use money to create and control shit. If you don't want to be controlled, you got to start creating your own avenues of income, your own streams of income, developing cabinet, uh, channels of wealth building that isn't highly dependent upon a system that's designed to keep you down. But I look at these cowards and... There's, you know, the, what I just set up and said, sometimes you just got to know when to shut the fuck up. Another time that applies is 
when you eat off of their table, you believe something, but you can't say what you believe, shut the fuck up. Don't speak on something that throws your brother under the bus. But again, this goes back to a video I made last week. Far too many people are allowed to eat handsomely for attacking, destroying, and throwing uh, other blacks under the bus. This isn't me saying Kyrie is right or wrong or Kyrie is, 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 is some sort of revolutionary. That's not what I'm saying. What I'm saying is I don't think he's trying to be harmful to blacks. And I don't think he's trying to be hateful to anybody. What I think is he's discovering truth at his own pace. And he may get out in front of himself sometimes. And sometimes I think that he knows what's going to happen. Because here's what I can tell you. The book that was basically a non-factor, a non-discussion, is now one of the top sellers on Amazon. So, who knows? I'm not one to sit up there. I'm not going to speak on what I don't know. But I'm going to tell you what I don't like. And, and I lost a lot of respect for Jalen Rose when he stood up and said that without knowing, without having to have a conversation with this cat, he stood up and said that he posted that knowing it was wrong. Now, first of all, you are already judging and my question is, how many of the people who are casting judgment even knows one line from the documentary, can quote one line from the book? You're judging it based off of what someone else told you. Now, my problem is, if you believe it's anti-Semitic, cool, but you should do it based off of your own observations. It doesn't take but one line that is in that's placed in proper context, meaning you know the surrounding content around that line. And that if that part of that book makes you feel that th this has hatred towards a certain specific group in, in, in this instant uh, Semites, then you can sit up and say, okay, the book is anti-Semitic. Or it has an anti or it has anti-Semitic tropes. Okay, you can say that if you've observed it, if you've read it, or if you've seen it in the documentary, then you can say it. If you've sit down and you've had a, a, a real true discussion with someone who has, and they give you word for word or close to it verbatim what's in it, and you said, I don't like that, that don't sound right, then if that's, what the, is the, if that's what you feel, then you have a right to feel that way. But what you sh cannot do is consistently practice what we've practiced over and over again, is having someone else come tell us what we should be mad about, and we not understand why we're mad. You can't tell me something is racist without showing me how. You can't tell me something is anything else without showing me how. You're not going to play racist. You're not going to get my emotions stirred with the word racism. Show me what happened. And then I look at it because I'm, first of all, I'm used to racism. I'm used to being hated just because of who I am. I'm used to having hurdles and obstacles in my way just because of who I am. So I don't get excited or upset or frenetic and unglued when something like that happens. I came into this world and was shown early on and taught, hey, this is going to be your life. But you're built for it. Go out there and make something happen. Go out there and do something special. Go out there and shake the world up. Be phenomenal because even with them trying to stop you, you're phenomenal. Now, that's what I'm looking at. How can we show the rest of the world? How can we show our babies that, yeah, this is the world, but you're going to be phenomenal? We too busy trying to hold on to little carrots that they dangle in front of us and we cutting each other's throat in the process. This isn't about whether Kyrie is a right or wrong. This is about we need to handle family business in house. This is about sitting up and saying, hey, I'm older. I'm wiser. I know a lot more about this. I'm going to pull this cat to the side and I'm going to speak in his ear. Maybe he listens. Maybe he doesn't. But what I'm not going to do is be that cat that they are using, the one that Malcolm X told us about, that dude that they're going to bring out to, to challenge the truth that's being told by a black man. Don't be that dude. Don't be that woman. Don't be that person. Sometimes cats wrong as hell. Pull them to the side. My problem is when I see you don't mean me any good and you don't mean my people any good. You're no longer a brother. You're an enemy. You just look like me. You're dangerous because without you, Fred Hampton would still be alive.
Without you, Martin might still be alive. Without you, Malcolm might still be alive. I could go on. So let me tell you something. We need to start holding them accountable. We need to start sending messages. And the crazy thing is, Shaq dumbass sitting up and criticizing a dude in a theater he owns played the documentary in New Jersey, his own town. I'm talking about putting your foot in your mouth. I think that we have to invest far more into understanding how things work. I think that is where we need to start. We need to gain a real, true, in-depth and lucid perspicacity of the dynamic in play so that we know how to counter it, how to navigate it, how to move within it and when we lose because we're in a system that we don't understand and we're start currently trying to play the game on some level. We have to do, we have to do a better job, period. Look, I'm gonna get ready to get out of here. Um, get ahead and unwind with the guys for a while. But what I want to do is challenge everybody to be more aware, to make it your point to learn, to get around people who know, to invest in knowledge in some way or another. On that note, look, again, if you believe in the work we're doing at the Odyssey Project, if you believe in what I've done and what I'm doing, we need your support. None of this stuff happens free. Uh, the work we do, man, I've got a cat now that I'm connecting with and I'm trying to help who wants to get into football again and was had his college career interrupted for false accusations that have now been proven false but nobody wants to touch him stuff like that next stuff stuff lands on my desk uh, you know so again if you, if you believe in what we're doing and like I said I'm not new to this I've been doing this for a while I've been on I've been doing this stuff and in, 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 in inviting you into my world for over 12 years on social media. I was doing it uh, another 12 before that even took place. This has been my life. So again, we need your support. On that note, I'm gonna jump off of here, get in here, grab me a good stick and sit back and hang with the fellas, talk a bunch of noise. Uh, sometimes it gets deep, sometimes it's stupid, but hey, it's what it is. It's fellowship. All right. I'm out. You guys have a good one.